you go, Newmark X1 USB. Uh, cheap, but very reliable, and I like the sound quality of it. Uh, what it has is it has two USBs. Now, these are not identical cords, which is something I wanted to do with troubleshooting purposes, just bring in a couple different cords, different links, just to see if that was any part of it. It has nothing to do with the problem. So it's okay that I've got different cords. On the back of the mixer, there are two USB ports. So this way, in my DJ program, I can crossfade between both decks and have uh, 24 bit digital sound coming in. Maybe it's 24 bit. Anyway, it sounds really good to my ears for an inexpensive mixer. So I've got uh, the computer management system open here, and I'm hoping I can hold the camera steady enough while I go through and plug and unplug things. So at first I was thinking, okay, maybe I got bad USB ports on the side of my laptop. So I started plugging in one cord at a time. You'll see it pick up. There it is, finally. Boom, right there. USB device not recognized. If that happens in the middle of a show, uh, you get no sound. And I went through, and I can do this. I have three ports on this computer. One, two, and then I have a third one over here. Same thing, no matter what port I put it into. Okay? There it is. Boom. Not recognized. And, and by the way, I just bought, this is my second mixer. It's just like the other one that failed. I just got this in the mail, and I got it working earlier, so I know it's fine. And so then I did this cord, okay, the black one. So I would go gray cord, black cord, all three ports, same thing, no matter what, even on this USB. And this is an older laptop. I mean, I'm thinking, okay, maybe my laptop's on its way out. Check this out. So then what I do, I'm like, you know what, maybe I got like a grounding issue or something that's freaking out. So I went and actually unplugged the mixer. I'm going to leave it plugged in now and went through, and this is the key. I unplugged the laptop, okay, then plug in USB cord. I'm going to zoom both. Let's just get them both in there at the same time, whatever. Boom, device found, okay, no problems at all. And so uh, now the question is, <laughs> do I dare try to DJ without a power supply? Or B, I should get another power supply, okay? I've had power supplies fail. I know they can fail. So I'm not obviously going to DJ without a power supply hooked in. In fact, I don't know if I can find the power supply down here. I think this is it here. But, I mean, it is genuine HP, okay? Um, you know, maybe it's just an HP sticker on a, on a uh, OEM box, and maybe, you know, it's generic. So now what I'm going to attempt to do is plug in the laptop and see if that affects the uh, USB cords, and it doesn't. So what's the deal? I mean, because... Now I run the risk, and I've had this fail. I've had it fail at a show. The, it's not that the decks stop working. It's that the mixer stops showing that there's sound um, coming through the deck. So I'm going to go up here. I'm using Virtual DJ just for demonstration. And I'll go over here into the sound setup. Um, two cards, external mixer. I have two cards. I can set three and set two or vice versa, whatever, and uh, hit apply. And that's that. I mean, I just don't know what else to do to uh, shake this out. So so let's go uh, Ben Benassi, close to me. It's on the left deck, whatever. And it's playing music. It looks like it's playing music over here. Audio is coming in there. I got another mixer over here that I'm actually running all, all the audio through. So, all right. I'm not sure why I just showed you the speaker. That was stupid. But anyway, if you got some ideas or thoughts on what I should do, um, I I have a uh, just to explain my setup. I have an, an, a pretty fat aftermarket battery here. I don't know that an aftermarket battery would do anything to uh, cause this disconnect issue with the USB, but that battery will last like four hours. So 
I'm not really opposed to unplugging the power supply from the laptop. It's stable. It's stable on battery. I've done it before. But why? Why would the power supply cause a USB device not to be recognized in the, the Windows management system? Is that, And I have noticed that my power supply puts a little bit of noise through the system. So I think the moral of the story is carry more than one power supply and at least know what the troubleshooting problem is. And I'm not, I'm not opposed to reinstalling Windows. And really, I'm not opposed to going and buying a genuine HP power supply from HP and stop playing with eBay because I'm wondering if I've just got some kind of wonky voltage thing that's causing a spike or, or it's a grounding issue between the power supply of the mixer and the laptop. I don't know. I don't know enough about it, so I'm eager to hear your comments. Thanks.